Hello everyone. Today we are going to see generalized rule of integration by parts. This is also known as a Bernoulli's formula. Now before this we know how to use integration by parts rule, right? We can check that all these example we can solve by using this rule of integration by parts, right? So when we solve such type of integral we have to use integration by part this is here more than once to you have let this integral so whenever product of two functions one of which is a power of x is to be integrated it is useful to apply this generalized rule of integration by parts so we will see what is this rule state here so we have here two functions one of which is a power of x function we have to evaluate this is by using this generalized rule of integration by part so we will see what is this rule here so what we have to do we have to take here first function as it is then second function integral minus this is here first functions derivative derivative we will denote this by dash into then this integral of this v1 then plus second derivative of this u then this is third integration of this v then minus third derivative into fourth integration and this and so on here so yes we can check here what is here this dash dash we will have to denote this is dash denotes differentiation and this suffix suffix will denote this integration yes now yes again we can see here we have first function as it is then second functions integration then here we have u1 that means yes here in second term we have this is u dash in third term we have u2 dash u3 dash and so on this is the successive derivative of first function and here we can check here we have v1 v2 v3 v4 these are the integration first integration second integration third integration and so on yes so what is here we have first function as it is then second functions integration this is a first integration minus this is a first derivative of first factor in preceding term into integration of this second factor of preceding term right and then in third term what we have what we have to take here this is derivative of this first factor in preceding term into integration of this v2 that means second factor so we will write this is in words what is the meaning of this we have here we will write down in word so yes we have write down this rule in words here what we have to take here we have this first function u and second function v we have to take first functions derivative and second functions integral right first functions derivative and second functions integral so these are the successive derivatives and integration we have to put all this is here so we have to remember how to use this rule here so what we have to do first we will write down first function as it is then second functions integral minus this is here 
derivative of first factor in preceding term into integration of second factor in preceding term then plus derivative of first factor in preceding term into integration of second factor in preceding term and so on so we have write down this is in words here now we will see how to use this generalized rule of integration by parts by one example now we will apply this rule here in this integral to evaluate this integral so we have to arrange these two functions by this liet rule yes so we have to write this first function algebraic and second function this is exponential now we will apply this generalized rule of integration by parts so what we have to do we have to try it first function as it is this is our first function and this is second function now next we have to write second functions integration so we know integration of e raised to 5x this is here e raised to 5x upon 5 yes we know integration of e raised to x right so what is this this is what e raised to x upon a yes so we have to continue this is here what here we have taken this first term here first function into integration of second then we have to take the derivative of first factor now integration of e raised to 5x this is e raised to 5x is what e raised to 5x upon 5 and this phi so here we will have square then this here plus derivative of this this is here 2 into integration of this one this term yes so integration of this e raised to 5x upon 5 this 5 and this 5 square we have here 5 cube right so on simplification we will get yes now we can check that how easy to use this generalized rule yes so in only two steps we have find the integration of this one right so yes so this is we have seen how to use integration by parts generalized rule of integration by parts now we know we have solved same example by using this integration by parts now we can check that here we have to use this integration by parts this rule here two times yes we have used this is here in first step now again we have to use this is here integration by part and we got here the same answer which we have find here right yes so in this way we have find one integral in the same manner we now we have to evaluate this integral for this we will need cos of 2x integration this is given by yes we have this is sin 2x yes we will write in general sin ax upon a then we need this is sin ax integration this is minus cos of ax upon a right so we have to evaluate this integral here so yes we have to check that we have to take the derivative of first functions and integration of second function right we have to take the successive derivatives of first functions that is a power of power function of x so we have to write first function as it is x cube into integration of cos 2x cos 2x integration this is sin 2x by 2 next term this is minus x cube derivative we have this is 3x square into integration of this one so first we will write this constant term sin 2x integration this is minus cos of 2x by 2 next we have plus 3x 
square its derivative 6x right then we have this minus we will write down constant term into cos integration cos integration we have this is sin 2x by 2 right and next term will be derivative of this one and this is minus alternate plus minus we have to take here so 6 we will write down constant term this is 2 cube and sin its integral here we have minus sin its integral sin then we have sin its integral that is minus cos of 2x by 2 yes so we have to solve this is here we have to simplify x cube sin 2x by 2 then here we have this minus we can take outside so here we have 3x square cos of 2x by 2 square then plus yes here we have minus sign so we will take this is minus 6x and this is here we have 2 cube sin 2x here we have treat minus so here we have minus and this is 2 raised to 4 cos of 2x right so yes we got yes we can check plus minus here we have this minus minus here we have plus so yes we have evaluated this integral by using generalized rule of integration by parts yes and this is integration constant c yes so yes we have seen here how to use generalized rule of integration by parts yes this is we have seen generalized rule of integration by parts and that's easy and we have to remember when to use this generalized rule of integration by parts when we have one function is power function of x we can check that here in all this integral we have one function that is here algebraic function which is a power function of x right we can we have to say that is algebraic or that is a polynomial function so in this way we have seen generalized rule of integration by parts thank you